वेलकम बैक कैस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी ट्राइंग आउट नी है ऑटोमाटा ऑन माई रॉक एल एप एट द सेट वन एक्सट्रीम पेरेंट ऑफ दिस डिवाइस नी ऑटोमाटा इज एन एक्शन रोल प्लेइंग गेम सेट ड्यूरिंग अ प्रॉक्सी वॉक बिटवीन एलियन क्रिएटेड मशीन एंड ह्यूमन क्राफ्टेड एंड्रॉइड्स फोकसिंग ऑन द एक्शन ऑफ कॉम्बैट एंड्रॉइड टू बी स्कैन एंड्रॉइड नाइन एस एंड रोक प्रोटोटाइप ए टू द गेम हैज गुड रिप्लेबिलिटी द स्टोरी रिक्वायर्स मल्टीपल प्ले थ्रूज विद ईच प्ले थ्रू रिवेलिंग New story elements. The gameplay combines role-playing elements with action-based hack and slash combat. Now, this game's FPS is capped at 60. Yes, you heard it right. So, I'll be running the game with and without LSFG 2.0. It's a universal frame generator. Works on any GPU, whether it's from Intel, Nvidia, or AMD. It does not matter. LSFG is a part of lossless scaling application that sells on Steam store for around seven US dollars. I'll also show you how to remove this 60 FPS cap. This can be done using an application called Special K. I have already done my testing. With the 60 FPS cap removed, this game runs within an FPS range of 80 to 100 on ROG Ally. It's a very smooth experience. So it's up to you how you want to play the game. Run the game at 60 FPS, then use LSFG to double the FPS, or just run the game without frame generation with a variable FPS ranging from 80 to 100. Ally's display supports FreeSync Premium. So even with a variable FPS, it's a very smooth experience. First, I'll be running the vanilla version of the game. I have set the UMI buffer size to 5 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 337. I have installed AMD's technical preview GPU driver, Adrenaline Edition 24.5.1. Command center settings using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 720p resolution. CPU boost disabled. Now I'll run lossless scaling application. We'll keep it running in the background. Show you its settings. Select LSFG 2.0 under Frame Generation. Not using its performance mode. Not using any upscaling. Clip cursor setting enable. Draw FPS setting enable. Capture API TXGI. Settings. Start as administrator setting enable. Hotkey for enabling LSFG Control Alt N S. That's it. Launch Neo Automata. Connected my Google Kit KK3 Max gamepad to Ally via 2.4 GHz pen wireless mode. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. Open internal lens settings. FreeSync enable. VSync disable. Anti-lag setting enable. RSI enable. Resolution upscale from 720p to Full HD. In-game settings. 720p resolution. Screen mode set to Portalless. In game using disabled. Run the game using a high preset. Anti lane set to SMA. Motion blur disabled as well. That's it. Not changing the other settings. I'll straight away load a big open area, city ruins near factory. There's a character. I'll explore the area on foot. FPS is around 60. Very smooth experience, even without enabling any frame generation technique. Combat. Take out this tin can. Oh my god! That thing just exploded. Zap me. GP load is around 70 percent. Moose. <laughs> It attacked me. Running away. Took it out. Not observing any hitching. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. No frame pacing issue. We've seen more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there. Stare into space. It's pretty weird. Now I'll enable LSFG. Press its hotkey. Control Alt N S. It's working now. You can see its FPS counter in the top left corner. Check out the input response. Yeah, the camera motion has become slightly smoother. Not observing any graphical artifacts. A character to be. Just sprint around. Oh, 
120 fps with LSFG is not as good as the real 120 fps but it's definitely better than the real 60 fps you can use LSFG in this game produces good results Yeah, controls are responsive. Now I'll show you how to install special key to remove this 60 FPS cap. Just go to this website, I'll give its link in the description, then click on download here. Application will get downloaded. Open file explorer, go to downloads. Here look for special key, there it is. Execute the exe file. Install for me only. Next, follow the instructions. I accept. Installation complete. Launch the application. You can use special key with other games as well. In Nier Automata, you can use this application to disable certain settings which are not accessible via the in-game settings. This prompt popped up about RTSS. Okay, I'll just use AMD's performance overlay. Closed RTSS. Launch special key. Just expand the game section here. Look for Nier. There it is. Play. Yeah, this is the overlay for special key. In order to access its setting, need to press Ctrl, Shift and Backspace keys together. From here, just expand near automata. Then expand frame rate. Check this setting, remove 60 FPS cap. Then expand frame rate limiter. Make sure frame rate is not limited to 60 FPS. Close it. I'll just enable Adrenaline's Performance Overlay. Go to Performance Overlay. Enable it. Back to the game. You can see in the menu, we're getting around by 90 FPS. First, I'll run the game using the loop reset. Blur disabled. Yeah, there's a character. City runs. Here, FPS is around 85. Not hitting the GPU bottleneck. Can increase a few settings. 80% GPU load. It's a very smooth experience. Personally, I would play the game this way instead of using frame generation with the base FPS at 60. Entirely up to you. 100 FPS. Trying to use the special effects. Creature is down. Eighty to one hundred FPS. Now I'll just use the medium preset medium set anti-lacing to SMA and that's it back to the game still getting around 80 FPS that's good to see GP load is around 90% according to our intel none of the machines in this area are hostile we've been seeing more and more enemies Graphics like this nice. they just stand there and stare into space Weird. 94% GPU is it. Performance is limited by the single core CPU performance. It's very good experience on ROG LA. Yeah, Automata runs like a dream. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.